Welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab. So first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply come back over here and now here just simply search for the API key. Here you can see API and services just simply open this thing new tab come back over here then click on this credentials wait for a second and then click on this create credentials and from here just simply choose the API key. Now what you have to do just simply come back over here click on the task number 2 here you can see this link just open this link in incognito window like this. Now again just simply scroll down copy this content come back over here click on this cross and just simply paste. Okay, now if you just simply scroll up and click on the check my progress for the task number one, you will get a score without any issue. Now if you just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress for task number two, you will get a score without any issue. Now for the task number three and task number four, what you have to do, just simply click on the dashboard. Now here just simply search for the VM instance, open this thing in new tab, come back over here and then click on this SSH button. Now it will take a couple of seconds to establish a connection. Meanwhile, in the description box of this video, I will share all these three commands okay now what you have to do just simply scroll down come back over here and now from here just copy this api key just copy like this way and just simply paste over here now i request you please use the online notepad do not use your personal notepad for editing okay now just copy all this command like this way and make sure that you have to copy this full stop as well just copy like this way come back over here click on this ssh paste hit enter wait for a second and it's done. Now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for task number 3, you will get a green tick without any issue. And if you are not get a green tick, no need to worry about that because lab take time to update the score. So just wait and as you can see on my first attempt, I got a score. Now if I just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress of task number 4, I will get a score without any issue. And as you can see, I got a score. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.